master assigned to push me out of my promised land. You are a lord. Open your mouth and pray. I refuse to be pushed out of my promised land. Jesus, then we pray. Tapens of death. Shout it with hatred. In my body, I set you ablaze. In the name of Jesus. Say the serpent of death ablaze. Somebody is breaking through. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, my star, let your voice roar like thunder. Come out of your hiding places and shout in the name of Jesus. My star, come out of your hiding places. And shout in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Powers assigned to pull down my ladder of glory. Before I leave this place, there, in the name of Jesus, thank you, Jesus. I refuse for my ladder of glory to be pulled down. In Jesus' name, we pray. A loud amen. Every food that I have eaten that have sold me to captivity. Blood of Jesus destroy them in the name of Jesus. Yes. Makatenda le kaya bo shendera bo kosanta. In Jesus' name we pray. Ni oru kajesu la madura. Powers dragging my blessings back to the coven. A person receives a blessing, the power is dragging it back again. Oh! Dragging my blessings back to their covers. In the name of Jesus. Somebody is breaking through. Yes. 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 You must be released. You must be released from their grip. In Jesus.
Jesus name we pray shout this with hatred say affliction and hardship running after my family can you shout it loud your time is up in the name of Jesus Don't negotiate. This is not a money to negotiate. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, wish craft fingers resting upon my body catch fire in the name of Jesus open that mouth open that mouth that's why you are here this is no carry over prayers in Jesus name we pray pray these strange prayers loud and clear oh God arise and over my enemies to their own enemies can you shout it loud? Aha! Somebody should shout it loud! Your voice is not loud enough! In the name of Jesus! Hand them over to their own enemies! Louder, 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 louder. Jesus name we pray can you shout this loud and clear destiny exchangers my life is not your candidate can you say it loud can I hear the sisters shouting this loud can I hear the brothers shouting it? Can I hear everybody shouting it? Damn! In the name of Jesus. Say it, say it. Jesus name we pray this particular prayer should be prayed three times nobody should joke with it please nobody should joke with it powers seek him for my blood drink your own blood and die can I hear the sister shouting it? There is a sister that needs to shout this louder. 
Brothers, can I hear you roaring like thunder? Something is happening over there. Everybody together now. In the name of Jesus. We are not here for negotiation. We are here for the no carry over prayers. In Jesus name we pray. This is number two. I want you to be more aggressive. Open your mouth and pray. Louder, 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 louder. Drink your own blood and die. I am not your candidate. In Jesus' name we pray. This is the third time. Open your mouth and pray. Jesus name we pray. I fire back every arrow of death and hell in the name of Jesus. Open the mouth, open the mouth, open the mouth, open the mouth, open the mouth. In Jesus' name we pray. Battles! I sign to waste my life. Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Power, sir. Introducing my destiny to wasters. Powers introducing my destiny to wasters. Be wasted in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Jesus name we pray the powers appointed to scatter my journey can you say it loud shout it loud oh God arise kill them now in the name of Jesus Yes. Ben. In Jesus' name we pray. Arrows of miracle miscarriage. 
can you shout it loud? I am not your candidate. Backfire! In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth, open your mouth. Arrows of miracle miscarriage. I'm not your candidate. Backfire, backfire, backfire. Open your mouth, command it to backfire. In Jesus' name we pray. This next prayer. We are praying it three times again. Powers! Begging which doctors? Powers! Begging marine powers against my life. Can I hear you shouting it like? Yes. In the name of Jesus. Open them out. Open them out. That's why Jesus brought you here. Enough is enough. In Jesus' name we pray. Open your mouth and pray it again. Yes. 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 Jesus name we pray this is the third time I pull your mouth and pray aha 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 makatori makatori makapola makaya boshanda in Jesus name we pray any trap stopping my acceleration can you shout it with a threat catch your honor in the name of Jesus the traps Stop him my acceleration. It's happening, it's happening, it's happening. In Jesus' name we pray. Pass! Assigned to waste my age. Tonyo, let if your story be so full. This is a serious prayer. Adura patakilele. And you, you cannot keep quiet. Eh usile panuma. And you cannot allow anybody else to be louder than you. Eh usile bakio when they can't put in. Can I hear you shouting it? Eh jengo ke kipero. Damn! In the name of Jesus. Ni oru kajes. Something is happening over there. Oh, constantly, oh, we are the power of God. As the power of God, I don't know. We are part of our master. Ten the day of a shender of a copola baraba. Ribos upon the day of a shender. Yes, let me. In Jesus.
Jesus name we pray be simple you don't have to believe what I'm saying you may even think they are all superstition is a lie but I know what I'm talking about amen so please listen very very carefully there is an entity known as arrows of darkness they exist whether you believe it or not does not matter they exist there are arrows of darkness i have seen it manifested i have seen many examples countless number of examples that's the first fact to understand i shared with you here before something that happened in my former church that my former church we don't pray much we dance more we take about 10 offering per service and in the offering there will be no usher you have to dance to the front 10 times and dance back to your seat so you are always dancing in and out of your seat in and out of your seat we will take an offering for those who were healed we take an offering for those who travel and came back safely we take an offering for those who have, who have obtained certificates we take an offering for all kinds of things and then in addition to those who want to do special thanksgiving and if they are your friends you dance after them and follow them to the front and they carry a plate giant plate but small money and they dance to the front we dance after them i used to feel sorry for my dad he was a very poor dancer he dancing behind the woman like that and the woman who were rolling and rolling and rolling and rolling would be using their bum bum to shook his leg because he could not dance that's what we were doing there not knowing that we were just preparing ourselves for silver golden arrows the first time this will happen it's a wedding ceremony the wedding has finished the couple were outside those who were to take pictures were there all of a sudden the bride shouted who are these people and she put her hands in her wedding gown and tore it they quickly rushed at her pushed her inside the car drove her straight to the hospital because we that were there we did not know that there is something known as arrow of darkness somebody who was normal throughout the service was never sick before had never even taken ordinary panadol before does not even go to hospital because he's always well then all of a sudden just like that that's what we call the arrows of darkness arrows of darkness i pray for somebody here that the arrow that is targeting your day of glory will backfire by fire in the name of jesus a seven fall amen it was another wedding at ife the bride after the wedding began to have pounding headaches she could not sleep she could not do anything they rushed out to lagos they brought her here i started praying the lord said call for the video of their wedding call for the video say i want to show you something call for the video so i they, they brought the video so i started to watching during the reception as they were dancing they were pasting money on their forehead they were pasting money pasting money and i was watching what there the one woman like this danced to the front i noticed that when she danced to the front no one followed her she faced the couple alone she put her inside the bag at that level what she brought out was a feather not money she had used at the money part to keep others from dancing to the front she now put the feather on the head of the woman and the feather did not come back to her hand in that picture the lord said that's it a feather of darkness an arrow of darkness true in that picture immediately the feather entered into her head the bride did like this did like this she didn't do anything and they continued the dancing you really are tell me me mom i can see that you have been attending those ceremonies amen one prayer let the feather of darkness go back to the senders that was all 
But if we didn't know what happened to that head, you can put cartons and cartons of Panadol. It's a lie. Can you shout this loud and clear? Arrows fired against my head. Consciously or unconsciously? Can you shout it loud? Your voice is not loud enough. Backfire by fire. In the name of Jesus. There is a woman here who needs to pray this prayer. Mapiari Katari Kasa. Ribasapiali Katandaka. In Jesus' name we pray. Stretch your right hand to the heavens. Say, My Father, put heavenly coals of fire on my hands now. Stretch that hand above your head. My Father, put heavenly coals of fire. Upon my hands now, fire to disgrace the weapon of darkness in the name of Jesus. Now, smite your head seven times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do it again one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do it again one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Thank you, Jesus. Sit down for a little bit, madam. Sit down, brothers, sisters, ladies, and gentlemen. So, there is an entity known as Arrows of Darkness. At fact number one. At fact number two, men and women receive these arrows every day. Every day. Fact number three, the Bible makes us to understand, according to Psalm 91, Psalm 91 verse 5 that there is an arrow that flyeth by day. So fact number 3, there are day arrows there are night arrows. The Bible makes that one very, very clear. Every arrow by day fired against anyone here shall by fire by fire. How many facts have I told you now? Fact number four. Most cases of untimely death is due to these sudden arrows. Sudden arrows. It's a terrible thing. A professor had been looking for a child for a long time. Eventually, the wife took him. He was teaching in the lecture room that day while they came to break the news that the wife had delivered a baby boy. The professor was extremely glad. He was beside himself with joy. He jumped up for joy. By the time he landed on the floor, he was dead. That's what we call arrows. Doesn't make sense the way it works. Fact number five. The strength of an arrow and the power thereof depends on the person who shoots the arrow. Depends on the origin of the arrow. Fact number six. There are special arrows. The enemy fires at the righteous. Righteous. So the fact that you are righteous does not mean they won't target you. The Bible says they shall fight against you, but they shall not prevail. It didn't say they will not fight. They will fight. But they shall not prevail. Can you say they shall not prevail. Can you shout it three times? In Psalm 11 verse 2 Psalm 11 verse 2 If you are there, say yes. Are you there? So, for lo the wicked bend their bow they make ready their arrow upon the string that they may privilege shoot at who? At the upright. 
There you are. There are special arrows targeted against the righteous. And at fact number seven, the most dangerous arrows are fired by witchcraft because they are public enemy number one. Public enemy number one. Public enemy number one. Please, from what I've said so far, you will see that walking about saying, I'm sanctified. I've received salvation. I am holy. I am righteous. I have received the baptism of the Holy Spirit. By the grace of God, I'm living a clean life. I don't sin. I don't lie. I don't fornicate. I don't steal. It does not say that they will not fire the arrow. Please understand that one. That's why you find somebody who claims to be holy, he has received an arrow. Somebody who claims to be doing God's work, he has received an arrow. Receive an arrow. When a man of God at the age of 70, pastor at the age of 70, is now suspended for sleeping with a girl of 20, and he has been a pastor for 50 years. He was a pastor before I was born, and now he's gone. Just like that. There's the arrow. Is there? See, they make ready their arrow so that they can privilege shoot. Privilege shoot at the righteous. Notice the word privilege there. They be careful. They watch the person carefully. Watch the person very carefully. No wonder that him says, Christians, seek not yet repose. Hack your guidance agency. Thou art in the midst of foes. Watch and pray. It says principalities and power gather their unseen array, waiting for your unguarded hour. That is waiting for your careless hour. Waiting for that time when you are supposed to pray. You are watching television. Waiting for that time when you are fighting your wife, fighting your husband. Waiting for that time when you fall into sin. And when you enter into that unguarded hour. I say yes yes shoot i think goes in it's after the arrow has gone in father i'm sorry father i'm sorry father forgive me i'm sorry oh, father, i'm sorry i'm sorry i promise, promise i will do so again i'm sorry <laughs> yeah but the arrow is already sir. sin already waiting for your unguarded hour watch and pray the song right now says watch as if on that alone Watch as if on that alone lies the issue of the day. Ambushed lies the evil one. Watch and pray. Ambush lies the evil one. So watch and pray. The Yoruba hymn book says, A shoe back on the door. It's a hunter. It's watch. So watch and pray. So there are arrows for the righteous. The most dangerous ones are fired by witchcraft. When an arrow comes against a person, three things can happen. One, you either receive the arrow, which most people do. Two, it bounces off. Bounces off. And in bouncing off, it can go to the center, it can go anywhere. Three, it can miss you and eat someone else. It misses the person and eats someone else. And this is a serious matter. But the truth is this. Anyone firing an arrow at a true child of God is seeking for trouble. Really, really trouble. Everyone may keep quiet for a while. But when heavens begin to react, it can be terrible. Any power firing an arrow at a child of God is planning to sink in the Red Sea like Pharaoh. Any power firing an arrow at a child of God is seeking to be destroyed by God's angel the way an angel destroyed the army of Sennacherib. Any power firing an arrow at the child of God is seeking to receive the stones that fell into the head of Goliath. Any power firing an arrow at the child of God is writing courier letters to substitution and it will be replaced. He, he himself will receive the arrow. Any power firing arrows at the child of God is seeking to be eaten up with, with worms like Herod. The Lord is a man of war. He understands all strategies and policies of the enemy. 
maybe you don't know our lord is a mighty and terrible terrible warrior he can employ anything to fight for you he can even employ inanimate objects to terrify and destroy the enemy everyone may be watching for a little bit but once our lord beckons with one finger one finger all celestial and terrestrial hosts are ready to fight the bible says who had hardened his heart against god and has prospered when god sets himself against an enemy the enemy is undone because riches cannot save the enemy strength cannot save the enemy in the day of god's anger riches is not it's not a defense money cannot bribe him the lord has always disgraced those who try to rise against his children he makes one to chase a thousand and two to put ten thousand to flight he knows what the enemy is discussing in their bed chambers he knows the thoughts of their heart perhaps you are here this morning and you have been shedding uninvited tears you close your eyes you cannot sleep you have food on the table but no appetite you see wrong not because you are wrong but because wrong sees you i have a message for you today the repeated affliction shall backfire this morning and every new affliction shall flee let me drop a gentle note of warning this morning anybody who wants to deal with anything witchcraft you have to do it without compromise you have to be violently determined you have to behave like those who destroyed jezebel jezebel was there on the top of the house and Gil said throw her down and he threw her down you have to be that violent we are getting ready to pray now as i told you that this is a short message but now i want to look at some scriptures plenty of them actually pass a few comments on those scriptures then we're going to start praying now anyone who is present in the service of this morning you did not come here by chance you must have come by divine ordination and appointment in proverbs chapter 28 verse 10 it's good to note these scriptures very well proverbs 28 verse 10 proverbs 28 verse 10 if you are there say yes who so caused the righteous to go astray in an evil way he shall fall himself into his own pit he shall fall himself into his own pit but the upright shall have good things in possession so the lord is saying that that pit dug for you they who dug the pit shall fall into that pit the same proverbs chapter 26 26 verse 27 we're looking at principles of dealing with those arrows in all the scriptures i'm reading i'm giving you principles proverbs 26 27 whoso digget a pit shall fall there and he that rolleth a stone it will return upon them there you are that is their weapon should catch them now if you go to Deuteronomy chapter 7. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 15. Deuteronomy 7 15. It says this And the Lord will take away from thee all sickness, and will put none of the evil diseases of Egypt which thou rest upon thee. Then listen to what he says. But we lay them upon all them that hate thee. That's what the Bible says. It will not allow the arrow of sickness to come upon you but it will allow it to come upon your enemies in the book of nehemiah nehemiah you find nehemiah after ezra before you get to the book of um, esther nehemiah chapter 4 verse 4 hear O our god for we are despised and turn their reproach upon their own head and give them for a prey in the land of captivity you can see the stand of scriptures because sometimes when we start praying this prayer some people say why is all this in the bible this is this is uh, not, it's not scriptural it's not scriptural that's, that's, that's not scripture you are reading in psalm 7 verse 16 psalm 7 
verse 16. He says this. His mischief shall return upon his own head. And his violent dealing shall come down upon his own forehead. That's what the Bible says here. I hope you can read it by yourself. And in Psalm 35, which we read this morning. Psalm 35 verse 8. Psalm 35 verse 8. It said, let destruction come upon him at unawares. And let his net that he had eat catch himself. Into that very destruction, let him fall. So the prayer is, let his own net catch him. The one who made the nets said, let that net now catch him. The Bible also tells us, said, no weapon fashioned, formed, prepared. No weapon fashioned against thee. That is, they specially sit down in the laboratory and prepare a special weapon against you. They fashioned it. So, but no weapon fashioned like that against you shall prosper. So every tongue that shall rise against you in judgment, thou shalt condemn. It didn't say thou shalt pacify. Thou shalt beg. Thou shalt appeal to them. No. Every tongue that rises against thee in judgment. That is, every witchcraft judgment against you, thou shalt condemn. That's what it says. Didn't say you just tolerate them and let them be talking all the nonsense and rubbish you want to talk. The Bible now says something very serious. Look at the book of Esther, chapter 7. You find Esther after Nehemiah that we read before. Esther, chapter 7, verse 10. Esther, 7 10. So they hanged Haman on the gallows that he had prepared for Mordecai. They hanged Haman on the gallows that he had prepared for Mordecai. That is why we used to pray mountain of fire. At any power that wants you to die, they are dying in your own place. Every Haman assigned against you shall die for your sake. Let your amen be loud and clear. So when evil arrows are fired, the strategy of the Almighty is that the weapon that is used against you should fall back on the ones who started the weapon. The evil words that are used against you well, should go back to those who originated it. It is a divine principle for his children. I pray that any incantation issued against anyone here shall backfire by fire. <laughs> Every curse issued against you from any form of coven shall go back to the senders. <laughs> Every arrow fired against your progress shall backfire. <laughs> Every assignment of the wicked against you shall acquire acidic violence and go back to the senders. <laughs> In the name of Jesus. We believers do not send curses to people or arrows, but we have a right to return those ones sent to us because we did not create the forces. It was some people who created forces to destroy Daniel in the Bible. They created a force which they hope will destroy Daniel, but the force that his enemies created was not only rendered powerless, but it went back to destroy them. I pray that every arrow fired against your family shall be fired. Every will plot against you shall go back to the sender. And if your amen can be very loud, the bullet of your enemy shall destroy them. You shall destroy them. You shall destroy them. The bullet of your enemy shall destroy them. You shall destroy them. He shall destroy them. In the name of Jesus, a seven fall, amen. These days, a lot of people just sleep and they experience somebody strangulating them on the bed, trying to choke them upon the bed as they arrow. Some tell you they hear voices telling them to do strange things as they arrow. A sister was giving testimony at Presity that in the night she just stood up, took off her clothes, and was about to walk out. 
into the streets. Children asleep, husband asleep. Then she heard a voice. Daughter, go back. Go back. It was then her eyes cleared. And she saw herself. And she was wearing nothing. The enemy wanted to throw her into the streets. Mad. If there is anyone here this morning, and there is an arrow to make you insane, may that arrow of insanity double its power and go back to the center. In the name of Jesus, a sevenfold amen. The amen is not loud enough. The sevenfold amen. Someone has been happy all of a sudden. A sudden depression comes upon the person. A heaviness. That's the arrow. When the Bible says, it gives beauty for us. The oil of joy for money. The garment of presence out of the spirit of heaviness. Now, heaviness has entered. So the person who woke up saying, praise it Lord, praise the Lord, praise God, praise God. The mood, everything has now changed. It's an arrow. Needless fear. It's an arrow. A pimple on the face. Something say is leprosy. Fear. Needless fear. Pimple on top of the breast. Somebody say this is cancer. Needless fear. It's an arrow. That is what you call paralytic wind. Some people just some breeze will blow upon them like this. They just go paralyzed. May those evil wind go back to the senders. Sometimes it's a cold chill at night. Even in a hot room, the temperature of the person just falls. It's an arrow of witchcraft. Sometimes the head or some parts of the body, they feel heavier than other parts of the body. It's an arrow. Sometimes some parts of the body will be shaking on their own without anybody touching them. It's an arrow. I've seen people they prepare food by themselves not that they bought the food from outside but as they ate the food they were finding insects and parts of a uh, body of uh, tiny tiny animals inside the food the arrow of witchcraft some dream that the air is cut off or they wake up without anybody entering their room they find a part of their air had been cut off some arrow of witchcraft sometimes they send demon idols to people demon idols come to people physically you see them physically come to accost people it's an arrow of witchcraft sometimes they even send snakes live snakes to people sometimes it's spiritual snakes to people it's an arrow of witchcraft sometimes it's heat in the head but you just be hot you don't know what is going on it's the arrow of witchcraft I want somebody in this meeting this morning to get sufficiently angry in the spirit to fight back and fight and win. It's a very serious matter. Sometimes people hear their names being called. Who calls the name? And unfortunately, some answer. Say yes. I say, Mommy, why are you saying yes? Uh, didn't you call me? No. Nobody called you here. And generally, such people die within a few days may any voice calling anyone here from the grave be silenced by fire in the name of jesus let that amen roar like thunder sometimes they feed people with what they will ordinarily not eat they will feed them without food in their dreams some arrow of witchcraft sometimes people dream a female with male organ, male sexual organ, will be sleeping with them, carrying a female face, but having a male sexual organ. It's a terrible arrow indeed. Sometimes, it's sudden pain in the body. They go to the hospital, they check x-ray, check everything, nothing. Sometimes, they have prepared an arrow for somebody in the village. And they say, somebody's dying, somebody's dying. Come home, come home, come home. Only for you to rush down, you found that nobody was sick. I say, well, it's just a long time we have seen your face. And if you say you should come, you will not come. It's 
an arrow. People seeing themselves inside coffins, seeing themselves dining with the dead, is an arrow of witchcraft. Many who are here this morning, unfortunately, we have been attacked at one time or the other with these weapons. If you were attacked as a baby, it is possible that the arrow is even still in you. If you were attacked before you got born again, it is possible that the arrow is probably still in you. If you are attacked when you were ignorant, it is possible the arrow is still inside. But what you should learn today is to send the arrow back to the senders. You do not have to exercise fear. You have to plead the blood of Jesus as a covering for yourself and begin to demand that the arrows should go back to the senders. I shared with you here many years ago the story of how an occultic man got born again. That occultic man is now a pastor. It was a face my face with kind of accommodation. This occultic man was in one room. The sister was in the room next to him. And the son of the woman was sick. She had one son and the son was sick. It was a strange sickness. So she started praying for the baby. Praying for this child. When she prayed, 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 the child would be okay for a little bit. After some time, the conversion would start again. This woman will start praying, 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 praying. And then the child will relax again. After some time, this child will start again. This woman will pray, 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 pray. Not knowing that by the second room, this occultic man was the one killing the child. He had put a nail somewhere. And when he bangs the nail inside, the child begins to converse in the other room. And when the woman begins to pray, the force of her prayer will be pushing out the nail, pushing out the nail, pushing out the nail. Then the nail falls down. And the boy says, Mommy, I'm okay. The man takes the nail again. Put it back. Bwah! The child starts again. And this battle went on from 7 a.m. in the morning till 5 in the evening. The woman kept praying. And the man kept putting the nail. After some time, the man came out. Carried the concussion. Knocked the woman's door. Say, Madam, Madam, I have a feeling that your child is not okay. Give him this concussion to drink. If she had accepted it, that would have been the end. She said, thank you. I don't want. I do not want. For those of you who are still drinking concussions, God have mercy on you. The man now went back to his room. I said, okay, this is enough. This woman is embarrassing me. Now brought out his satanic drum and began to call forth for the face of the woman and her child to kill them on the drum. Their faces were supposed to appear in that drum. And they will put a nail through it. And that will have been the end of the two of them. So she prepared the drum. Made all the incantations. She was supposed to call their names three times. She called the name first time. No one appeared. She called the name second time. The woman and her child appeared. Brought out his nail. To stick into the drum. Just a split second for him to do that. The face of an old man appeared. Grey hair. Smiling and said i am the alpha and omega i am the ancient of days now pack all your fetish power here together and go to that church over there but that woman is my daughter you cannot kill her you cannot kill her son all these powers you have here you can now see that they are useless this was how the man surrendered his life to jesus rise up on your feet below all eyes closed but you see if you are here this morning and you are not born again you have not surrendered your life to jesus do so very quickly now very very quickly now by raising up your right hand and say what i'm going to say after so father in the name of jesus i come before you now lord jesus come into my life take control of my life in jesus name amen you said that short prayer with me immediately we close just find a way to the altar here so that we can pray more with you. All eyes closed. Obviously, you can see that we're not here to joke. We're here for serious business. We're going to start our prayers with the song we sang last. Jump out. Jump out. Evil arrows in my body, in my progress, in my family, they must jump out. We're going to start with that song. And when you are singing it, just open your eyes and begin to do what I'm doing. Whatever I do, you do. As you are singing that song, 
Because as you are singing that song, it's an order, it's a command. The Bible said, Thou shalt decree a thing and it shall be established. Thou shalt decree a thing. Jump out, jump out, jump out, jump out. Evil arrow in my body, jump. Oh, yeah. Oh. Where is that? Where is that? Hallelujah. Jump out, jump out. Where is that? Hallelujah. Jump. Hallelujah. Where is that? Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Where is that? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Where is that? Hallelujah. 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 Yes. Yes, sir. He will have. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, yes, Hallelujah. Oh, yes, Hallelujah. 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 Oh, yes, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. close now with a voice that roars like fire and like thunder say I fire back every hour of witchcraft now in the name of Jesus open your mouth and declare it Jesus is here something must happen in your life today Barriabo Pasitala. Fire it back. That's why you are here. Aha, aha, aha. This is not a day to negotiate. Louder, 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 louder. We are not here to play. I fire back. Every hour of witchcraft. In the name of Jesus. Aha. Aha, aha, aha. You see what is happening now? See what is happening now? That's right. Say, arrows of reproach. Arrows.
arrows of embarrassment <laughs> arrows of limitation <laughs> can you shout those three arrows <laughs> Sisters, your voices are not loud enough. Everybody together now. Everybody together again. Backfire. In the name of Jesus. Jesus Yes 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 Ma pita satele kayaba ribo soponte kayabo shantaraba Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Uh-huh. This is wonderful. With a louder voice. Insulting my faith. Can you shout that loud? Backfire in the name of Jesus. Continue, continue, continue. Jesus is here. Aha, that's it. That's how to do it. In Jesus' name we pray. Arrows of envious enemies. Backfire. In the name of Jesus. The arrows of envious enemies. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. A sevenfold man. Stretch your right hand towards the heavenlies again. Say, my father, put hot coals of fire. Fire of complete deliverance upon my hands now. In the name of Jesus, anywhere I smite with my hands, let the arrows go back to the senders. In the name of Jesus. Start with your head again. Three times. One, two, three. Go to your chest. One. Look at what is happening over there. Two. Three. Go to your stomach. Close to your belly button. Close to your belly button. One. Now go to your back, your back, your back. One, two, three. That woman over there having issues with your womb. Go to your womb area. One. Don't feel sorry for that place. Do it again. One, two, three. 
thank you Jesus say thank you Jesus say thank you Jesus now I begin to speak into the womb of this month tell it what it should deliver to you tell it what it should not deliver Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Lord, shall I say to somebody here that although it looks impossible or unachievable, but that before this year runs to an end, your testimony shall shock your friends and surprise your enemies. Let your amen roar like thunder. Father, I cover your people with the blood of Jesus. As you go into this month, it shall be well with you. The Holy Spirit will change the rules for your sake. The law will arise for your sake in every area. It is written, As soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. Strangers shall submit themselves unto me. Father, I pray that any stranger contesting for the life of your children, let them be embarrassed and disgraced in the name of Jesus. The arrows that have gone back to the senders today shall never come back to you again. The spirit of Jehovah, which is the everlasting spirit, shall arise and defend you. It is written, the Lord has his way in the wind and the wild wind. I command your way to open. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. There is power, there is power, there is power in the blood. There is power, there is power, there is power. There is power, there is power, in the blood. There is power, there is power. There is victory, there is victory, there is victory in the blood. There is power, there is power, there is power in the blood. There is power, there is power, there is power in the blood of Jesus. Power! Power, there is power, there is power, there is power, there is power in the blood of power, there is power, there is power. There is power mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood of Jesus Christ. There is power mighty in the blood. There is power, there is power mighty in the blood. Power mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood of Jesus Christ. In the blood, there is There is power, there is power. Yes. In the blood, there is power mighty. In the blood. In the blood, there is power mighty. The blood of Jesus, the blood of the blood of Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The blood of Jesus, uh, 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 the blood of Jesus, 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 the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. There is power, power, wonder working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. There is power, there is power, power, wonder working power in the blood of the Lamb. 
Christ when I walk in the precious blood. Of, that is power. That is power. 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 In, the, in the blood of the Lord. Power. Power. Blood of Jesus has delivered me, has delivered me, has delivered me. The blood of Jesus has delivered me, has delivered me. Oh, he delivered me. Blood of Jesus has delivered me, has delivered me, has delivered me. Blood of Jesus has delivered me, has delivered me. Oh, he delivered me. I plead the blood, the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood, the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood. The blood of Jesus, I plead the blood, the blood of Jesus. Listen, beloved. Immediately we start praying now. The power of God will begin to move from person to person. It will begin to disgrace paralysis, stroke, cancer, confusion, frustration, stress, headaches, migraines, nightmares. It will begin to disgrace every plantation of darkness. You will shout this louder than anyone around you. Say, foundational witchcraft of my father's house. Hear the word of the Lord. Damn! In the name of Jesus. Oh, yes. Something must happen in your life here this morning. There must be a turn around. There must be a change. There Possession, 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 possession. In Jesus' name we pray. Listen, if you have any stubborn infirmity in your body, just lay your hands upon the place now. Why we pray this next prayer? After this next prayer, I will now pray a short prayer. And if that infirmity is a plantation of the witchcraft, it will jump out and go back to the senders. This next prayer is not something you should joke with. Please. If you pray this one, your voice goes away and you got a breakthrough, you have, you have made a good bargain. Say negative power from my foundation assigned to kill my destiny. Can you say this loud and clear? I say, sister, whether that needs to shout this like no man's business because already you've been surrounded by these powers. You have never known peace all your life. This is an opportunity. Can we shout it again loud and clear? Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Say Pauli Cantendia. Ribo Soponde Kayabo Shentelabakayaba. Baka Ribo Soponde Kayabo Shentelaba. The power of God begin to move, 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 move. Every infirmity in the head, in the eyes, in the womb, 
in any part of the body that the enemy are sitting there, be uprooted. Be uprooted. Be uprooted. Be uprooted. Be uprooted. Be uprooted. By the power of the Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Oh, I wish you could see what is happening. That's right. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Lay your hands on that place. Father, your word says, Thou shalt decree a thing, and it shall be established. Your word says, You have given us a name which is above all names. But at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow. Father, any witchcraft sponsored infirmity in anybody's life now let the power in the blood of Jesus flush them out of that position in the name of Jesus be flushed out 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 out. in the name of Jesus check your body now Check it very well. Touch that fiber. It has gone back to the spirit husband that put it there. Touch the anea and the goiter. It has melted away. Touch the cancer. It has disappeared. Check the terrible migraine. It has gone. Check the serpent moving from one part of your womb to the other. It has gone back to the senders. Check the unusual eye temperature you have been having. Your temperature is now normal. Check. There are plenty of things happening now. Something is blocking somebody's throat. That thing has been cleared away by the fire of God. Someone is saying you have been smelling death, death, death. And you can even smell the rottenness from your inside. The sweet smell of the Holy Spirit has replaced the rottenness now. That person with unexplainable body itches. Look at your body now. You find that the witchcraft marks that are causing the itching has just vanished. There is someone here. A miracle has happened in your life now that will shock your doctors by the time you report to them next week. Plenty of things are happening here. I see hands being cut off and being replaced. The hands of poverty and non-achievement has been cut off. And a new hand has come into position. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You will now shout this with boiling anger. I recover. Tenfold. All my wasted years. This is an important prayer. I recover. Tenfold. All my wasted years. In the name of Jesus, recover them tenfold. Recover them. Today is today. Maseka po ya bo shende ra bo kuntia. Ribo pia li katende kente la ba. Mana ribo sopende ke ya bo shente ya ba. Ba kapola bo kapola bo kapola ba. E Jesus them we pray silence why the recovery is going on 50 persons here have been delivered from parental witchcraft that's number one number two number three number four number five number six number seven number eight number nine number ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty yes that's the power of god coming upon you that's right Number 30, number 40, and number 50. Thank you, Jesus. Silence. So many things have been pulled out from so many lives. Plantation of witchcraft in the head, the one in the eyes, the one in the chest and the heart, the one in the womb, the one in the stomach, the one in the legs. They've been pulled out. They've been pulled out by the power of God. Father, I pray. This person has been dreaming of dead persons. Right there where you are. The arrow of death fired into your heart. Let the arrows go back to the senders now. 
in the name of Jesus. Receive your complete restoration in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Silence. Listen very carefully. If you've checked your body and you find that the healing power of God has touched you and an infirmity you brought here has vanished, please, I beg you, don't allow the enemy to put them back on you. Just quickly find a way to the altar here so we can put a seal on that testimony. That is, when you lay your hands on your body just now, and as we are praying, a particular condition that you had disappeared. Just quickly find a way to this altar now. Don't allow the enemy to put it back. This is a very, very serious time. Somebody came here, the witchcraft powers have captured your menstruation. Please go to the ladies and check now. The menstruation is back. And then find a way to the altar here to tell us. Glory be to the name of the Lord. The enemy has fired an arrow inside the bone of somebody. Something is happening inside that bone now. You can actually hear the cracking of the bone as the power of God is threatening it out. Let's try it. Find a way to the frontier. Everybody will shout this loud and clear. Every witchcraft dog backing against my breakthroughs. Can you say this loud and clear? Is that the loudest you can shout it? In the name of Jesus, silence their voices. Their voices must be silenced. In the name of Jesus, Bose Katenda Kaya Boshende Raboko. Dakala boko sopola kaya bo shende rabo konta. De si ponde ketia. Bo sete kaya bo shenta. Bariko soponde kaya bo shenta. E Jesus name we pray. There are 12 persons here. I have a message to you from the Lord. As a result of the prayer you pray just now. Before this month runs to an end. You shall have uncommon promotion, uncommon testimonies. All the problems that have been making you to cry in an uncommon, miraculous way, they have been converted to testimonies now. I see a woman here. Somebody with terrible witchcraft powers are threatened you. And this person is working really hard to eliminate you within the next seven days. If this person does not leave you alone, the person shall die. Masika tunde ke ya bo shente rabo. Ribo seti la ka ya bo shende karabo santa. Aha. Look, look at something that is happening there. The enemy has put a balloon in somebody's tummy. The tummy is getting smaller and smaller and smaller, and the balloon of the enemy has been taken out. Find a way to this altar here. That's the power of God. That's, that's his power. That's his power. Don't be afraid. Stretch that bad leg. That started to function now. Reappear. Now this is a time to pray this prayer. Every assembly of witchcraft. Working against me. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Scatter the assembly by the power in the blood of Jesus. Scatter the assembly, scatter the assembly. Masikaya bo shente rabo kote rabasanda. Maribo soponde kaya bo shente rabo. Barria kapola kaya bo shente raba. Opu ya mouth, opu ya mouth. The assembly must scatter. In Jesus name we pray. This next prayer I want you to pray. Immediately we will set our mouth on it. New organs will come into the body where bad ones are presently in. 
and organs of the body turn upside down, we assume their right position. And those who are here and doors, good doors have closed against you. Those good doors will begin to open us from today. Say so every dream sponsored by witchcraft. In the name of Jesus, scatter the dreams. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Moseke ya boshende ra bokola baraba, bakapo se tekente, deke te ra boshende ra bokompo, daria bosanda, nakapola bosopola kaya boshente ra bo. Jesus, Jesus, e Jesus. Name we pray. There are three sisters in this meeting. You have one thing in common. You lost your husband a while ago. These husbands were occultic people. They buried your virtues before they died. But right there where you are, the power of God is coming upon you. And the yoke of that evil barrier has been destroyed. Aha. And the word stolen from you has not been restored tenfold. The enemy has taken away this scrotum of one man. Brother, check it now. That scrotum is back into position. Things are happening here. Yes. That witchcraft pile. The fire of God is burning your backbone. And you have been released from that yoke. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Shout this with only anger. Every power troubling my star. This is an important prayer, beloved. Many stars have been troubled, and many stars are killed untimely. Can you shout it again loud and clear? Make it louder than that. Make it even louder than that. Damn! In the name of Jesus, that is the miracle power of God. It's flowing from person to person, from person to person. Baka po se pela kaya bo shende kantia. Ribo so ponde ketende kaya. Mana kaponde se tele koyaba. Riaboko pishatinda raba. Thank you, Jesus. E Jesus name we pray. Something that just happened to somebody. It is important that you come out and talk to somebody here. So that the enemy will not put this problem back. Don't be shy. You know yourself. Something powerful has happened to you now. Right now. Find a way out and quickly talk to somebody. If you can't find somebody by yourself, come and talk to one of the ushers. Tell the usher what has happened. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Aha, 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 aha. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You now declare this loud and clear. Say November, December 2006. Can you say that loud and clear? You shall not be my cauldron in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare that those men shall not be your cauldron in the name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. Pick a song of praises in your mouth and sing it loud and clear to the King of Kings and to the Lord of Lords. Amen. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus.
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Listen to me carefully. Please ensure you don't leave this meeting until I've prayed the ceiling prayer. Because the enemy is still planning to waste so many people this year. But as far as you are under the cover of that ceiling prayer, together with the warfare press you are prayed today, any power that wants to kill you shall kill itself. Glory be to the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for these wonderful miracles and testimonies. I decree that they should be permanent in Jesus' name. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Right there where you are, I want you to pray one powerful prayer. Say every involvement of witchcraft in my finances. Scatter now! In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare it. In Jesus' name we pray. Raise up your two hands to the heavens as you pray these prayers on your hands. As you pray these prayers on your hands, raise it up to the heavens. Anointing to prosper in an uncommon way. Fall upon my hands in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare that one loud and clear. In Jesus' name we pray. Let your amen be dynamic as I pray now. Father, I pray for all who are gathered here today. At any seed of witchcraft planted in the life of any child, planted in any home, planted in any business, planted in anybody's organs, your word says, any tree that the Father has not planted shall be rooted up and thrown into the fire. Every seed of witchcraft planted in our lives be uprooted now by fire. Be uprooted by fire. Be uprooted by fire. Be uprooted by fire. I decree that the confidence of the enemy, the confidence of the enemy upon any life here, let that confidence be broken in the name of Jesus. You the serpent and scorpion of affliction. Your time is up. Die in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Shout aloud, hallelujah. Let's lay one hand on our head now. And one hand on our belly button as I pray these ceiling prayers. Father, I commit your children here unto your holy hand. It is written that they to the hills will raise up their head. But from there comes their help. The help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. You will not suffer their feet to be moved. For if they keep it, they will not slumber. They keep it, Israel shall not slumber nor sleep. The Lord shall keep you going and you are coming out. The Lord shall keep you in all your ways. No evil shall befall you. Neither shall any plague come near your camp. As you go, it shall be well with you. Every power that is throbbing our life that we have asked to die today, they shall never resurrect. Affliction will not rise again. Right there where you are, I speak unto you by the spirit of prophecy that danger will not come close to you. And tragedy shall not be your lot. Every power contesting for your testimony, those powers shall be disgraced. In the name of Jesus, any attempt by the enemy to embarrass you shall result in disgrace of the enemy. In the name of Jesus, good roads that the enemy cannot close, I decree that it shall open to you now. In the name of Jesus, and any power that wants to attack anyone as a result of the prayers here this morning, let those powers be disgraced in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Voice that roars like thunder. You will pray this breakthrough prayers. Oh,
awon adura alaja won yi se by fire by force ni pa ina ni pa ipa oh god arise oh lord di de catapult me into my next level baby lo si pele to kan in the name of jesus for jesus open your mouth and ask for that next level Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, call Jesus. I got you right. This particular prayer is said to bring breakthroughs to 25 persons. Please pray it well. Any evil meeting, summon against my destiny. Scatter unto desolation. Let that be silence now. Don't say anything for now. Just be silent before the Lord. Focus your attention on the blood of Jesus. And the man who was crucified on the cross of Calvary. You, the spirit of death and hell. Operating in the chest of this brother. Operating in the chest of this sister. Hear the word of the living God. That place is not your habitation. You are the problem in the bone. And it's as if somebody is pouring water inside the bone. That place is not your habitation. Therefore, hear the word of the Lord. You the arrows fired into the breast. The arrows fired into the right leg. The arrows fired into the backbone. That has been causing tension and stress. That place is not your habitation. You the smell of death. Enveloping that person over there. That place you are is not your habitation. You that strange voice. Speaking to that person over there. Don't sorrow. That place from where you are speaking is not your habitation. You the plantation of darkness. In various organs of the body. That place you are is not your habitation. It is written. As soon as they hear of me, they shall obey. Me. The strangers shall submit themselves unto me. The strangers shall be afraid. And they shall run out of their close places. Far as I count seven from here. Let great deliverance happen to those people. In the name of Jesus. I'm going to count one to seven now. You will not be able to stand on your feet if something has to depart from you. But you will be made whole. One. Any. Two. Ag. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Ag. The power must separate from you. Must separate. Must separate. But I know, brother, we are cool, lad. You the balloon of darkness. The wop, 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 wop. Be punched. 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 Be
arrows of witchcraft I want fire fired against this person here. to want to see any and it's as if the whole of your body is gone to what she be any people I want the, the arrows to go back to the center I want to go back to the center I want to go back to the center I want to Father, I'm praying for this person over there. You have swallowed a satanic egg. Right there where you are. There is volcanic eruption in your stomach. Volcanic eruption in your womb. And the plantation of darkness is coming out. It's coming out. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. As the first person, and the king, the second person, and the king, that's number three, and that's number four, that's number five, that's the power of God coming up. Right? Look at the power of God coming up. Look at the power of God coming up. Look at the the strange movement in the body. The one-sided edicts. Fire of God is falling upon you now. And that yoke is destroyed in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You will shout this loud and clear. You that person over there. When you are I command your strength swallowed by witchcraft to be returned to you now. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. I command the arrows fired into your body. To to the now. In the name of Jesus. Check your body now. Yeah, I got out Check it very well. Yeah, would that the deliverance power of God has visited so many people. Once you find that you brought a conditioner, it has vanished. Run quickly to this altar. Don't let the devil put it back. That's a fire. It's going from the top of your head. From the sole of your feet. From the top of your head. From the sole of your feet. Yes, everything you could not do before you get to Begin to do so now. Run quickly to this altar. Jesus is God. You the witchcraft Vanish now. Are you that woman over there? They have cut off something in your body. Right there, a new one is coming into position. Check your body now. Yeah, Stretch your right hand towards his altar. No, what to let you you Father, Baba, let the power to recover. Power for healing. Power for deliverance. Power for breakthroughs. Power for complete destruction of the power of the enemy. Fall upon this hands in the name of Jesus. Fire of the God of Elijah flow into the hands in the name of Jesus. Now, if you brought any infirmity here, smite it 40 times. And grace it. 
from whatever you are connected to us if you to it 40 times Infamity will go back to the senders. I saw you and as you smite it, shout to the senders. Back to the senders. Back to the senders. Let's go! Yeah. 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 That's the fire. No, no, no. That's the fire. No, no, no. That's the deliverance power. He no, he lose. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Tonight is tonight. The spirit of paralysis. The spirit of epilepsy. The spirit of blood clots. The spirit of cysts and tumors. And cancer. Begin to lose your hold And begin to depart. You will shout this psalmist prayer. Okibe, adura uni psalmist. The prayer of the psalmist. Adura uni psalmist. Very effective psalmist prayer. Adura uni psalmist. Umuno do kolonye. Where is the God of Elijah? Against me. Can I hear you shouting this? Shout it again. Shout it a third time. Contend with them that contend against you. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, we call Jesus. A seven for the man. I need you. Decree upon all your children here. That affliction will never rise again in the name of God. Your testimony after tonight's meeting shall be awesomely awesome. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Father, Baba, tonight. Cause it to happen. That whatsoever blockage has been introduced by ancestral idols will be shattered to pieces tonight. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Pray this prayer. Every evil dedication speaking against my moving forward. In the name of Jesus.
is not a day to negotiate. name we pray. The Bible says while men slept his enemies came. Can I hear the sisters here shouting this loud and clear? Enemies that came while I slept. <laughs> Is that the Lord that the sisters can shout? Brothers, can you shout it louder than this? Everybody shouting it loud. Okay. Your time is up. Time. In the name of Jesus. This is not a day to negotiate. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, closed. Every idol chain Them we pray. Negative anointing. If for all of my ancestral idols, clear away from my blood. Pray this very, very seriously. Say, I fire back. Can you shout it loud? Every arrow of witchcraft. Fire back! Is it 
is coming out. Oh, daddy. Yes. Then. The one in the head. You the one in the chest. You the one in the stomach. You the one in the it's coming out. It's coming out. Oh, daddy. Oh, daddy. Fire back the arrows of darkness. Can you shout this loud and clear? Please. This is not a prayer to joke with. Strangers. In the garden of my destiny. Can you shout it loud? You know the Bible said the strangers shall fade away. And they shall be afraid out of their clothes. Strangers in the garden of my destiny. You are a liar. In the name of Jesus. Tonight is tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank Promoting captivity in my family. Don't Can you shout his love? In the name of Jesus. If it's promoting captivity, he will not power now. Jesus, then we pray. Every dog of my ancestral idols.
In Jesus' name we pray. Glory to Jesus. Power. Mentioning my name on any evil altar. Shut up. In the name of Jesus. Makatenda ya boshente. Ribo sepende. Vika pasale daruasa. They will pray. No need for Jesus. By the power in the blood of Jesus. I break all curses of idolatry in my family line. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and decree. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus, then we pray. Lord, we call Jesus. Now, Badura, now bring out your bottle of water. And you are going to pray these aggressive prayers into that water. I will pray first into the water. Then you will pray these aggressive prayers into this water. Please, during the course of this prayer, if the water in your hands becomes hot, just put it down and continue praying the prayer don't throw the bottle away just hold this in your hand all eyes closed Father in the beginning the spirit of God moved upon the water by that spirit that moved upon the water Father move upon this water in the name of Jesus move upon this water in the name of Jesus as many as will drink this water let every evil dedication to anything evil be cancelled in the name of Jesus as many heads as this water will touch let every bad luck be cancelled in the name of Jesus Holy Ghost fire Enter into the water Yoke breaking power Enter into the water Deliverance power Enter into the water Fire of the God of Elijah Enter into the water Blessing of God Enter into the water Cleansing power Enter into the water Sanctifying power Enter into the water Healing power Enter into the water Sanitizing power Enter into the water In the name Get yourself ready. The more aggressive you pray on your own water, the better. Because you don't really know which point will be relevant to you. So pray all points aggressively. I don't change. This is one of the most aggressive prayer we are going to pray here tonight. I am going to pray three times. Why are you going to pray three times? Cut it 
Tonight, God has sent me to some people, and I want you to listen very carefully. The Bible said, Believe his prophets, and you shall prosper. If you will pray these prayers, if you will pray these prayers, you will be pleasantly amazed at the speedy promotion and divine acceleration you are going to have. Shout this louder than anyone around you. This is the first prayer. By the thunder of your power. My father. Move upon my life. Can you shout this loud? Your voice is not loud enough. In the name of Jesus. Basati ali katende kia. is not loud enough I say your voice is still not loud enough 
I still want you to shout it louder. In the name of Jesus. Continue to pray. Continue to pray. Continue to pray. Masikatenda kaya boshenda. Aha! It's happening now! In Jesus' name we pray. Everybody shout this loud and clear now. Powers of household wickedness! Pursue my Israel! Dead. In the name of Jesus! Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Ma parika di kasata, ya ribo sponde ke ya boshenchalaba. Jesus, Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Stretch your right hand, Father. Let your fire fall upon this hand. Let this hands carry the fire of the Almighty. Let this hands carry the deliverance power. Let it carry breakthrough powers in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, You shall lay your hands on the sick, and the sick shall recover. Don't pity yourself now with that hand. When I say begin to pray, you begin to slap your head with it. Your head is the symbol of your destiny. As you are doing that, all the virtues that have ever been stolen away from you will begin to run back. If you are doing it and you are having headaches, don't worry, don't worry. The headaches will soon vanish. Masika potale karabo sonta yaba bakaya boshenta. Say, my head, enter into your place of destiny. In the name of Jesus, begin to use that hand on your head now. Enter into your place of destiny. Enter into your place of destiny. Aha, 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 aha. Enter into your place of destiny. Enter into your place of destiny. Enter, 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 enter. Something is happening here. In Jesus' name we pray. Silence. I told you what will happen. Silence. Silence. There are transactions taking place. Massive transaction. Aha. The curse of your stepmother upon your head. Look at it, it's broken down. It's 
stretch that hand forward again. Father, let the anointing for Israel to come out of Jacob come upon these hands in the name of Jesus. Let the laying hands of your own hands now bring forth your Israel. 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 Let the liquid fire from God fall upon these hands now. In the name of Jesus. Get yourself ready again. As you are praying this prayer, begin to slap that head. My eye rejects witchcraft manipulation. In the name of Jesus. Do it now. Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. There are three prayers I want you to pray. They may sound strange to you, but pray them with fire and with power. Can you shout this loud and clear? Powers are signed to fly against me. Can you shout that loud and clear? Angels of the living God pursue them in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Jesus name we pray. Say, oh son, arise. Uproot every wickedness targeted against me. Can you say that loud and clear? Yes. Uh huh. I want you to say it with fire. In the name of Jesus. 
Let every wickedness targeted against you be uprooted. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, iniquities of my father's house. Crying against my greatness. Can you say that again? Your voice is not loud enough. Blood of Jesus, silence them in the name of Jesus. Iniquities of my father's house crying against my greatness. Blood of Jesus, silence them. In Jesus' name we pray. Jesus conquered the war and gave us victory. Victory, victory, hallelujah. Sing it loud and clear. Jesus conquered the war and gave me victory. Hallelujah. Victory, victory, hallelujah. Let the victory sing it loud and clear. Jesus conquered the war and gave us
Yanda ye, oye guru mili, yanda ye, halu mubu kochi. Oye guru mili, yanda ye, yanda ye, oye guru mili, yanda ye, halu mubu kochi. Oye guru mili, yanda ye, yanda ye, oye guru mili, yanda ye, halu mubu kochi. Oye guru mili, yanda ye, yanda ye, oye guru mili, yanda ye, halu mubu kochi. Oye guru mili, yanda ye, halu mubu kochi. Thank you for a day like this the first sunday in this month we give you all the glory in the name of jesus father as many as are gathered here today let there be no one who will go on with a plastic experience you have come here the way you like but you shall not go home the same in the name of jesus the Lord will dig deep into your body, soul, and spirit and cause deep healings to take place in the name of Jesus. To you, Father, be the glory. 
thank you heavenly father in jesus mighty name we pray let's have a see god bless you this morning we are looking at what i call adversity and discouragement adversity and discouragement or you can say problems and discouragement in Proverbs chapter 24 verse 10 we see a deep verse loaded with meanings Proverbs 24 10 it says this if thou faint in the day of adversity that's a problem it means thy strength is small thy strength is small if it is in the day of adversity the fainting power comes upon you you faint if you faint you give up you stop what you are doing because of the trouble say there is a problem it means your strength is small so definitely this passage is telling us that whether we like it or not the day of adversity will come upon every man but the decision to faint or not to faint is yours in Romans chapter 8 verse 28 if you are not used to listening to someone listen to this very well in Romans 8.28 and I think you should memorize this verse and read it to yourself every day Romans 8.28 and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God to them who are called according to his purpose how many things work together for good all things all things all things whether it's positive whether it's negative whether it's neutral all things work together for good to them that love god joseph faced his brethren he said, you taught it for evil for me but the lord has turned it for good if they never threw him into that pit the Ishmaelites will not have found him. The Ishmaelites will not have found him. And then they will not have sold him to Egypt. He will not have become the prime minister. They thought it for evil for him. But there was a conversion. I'm praying a prayer for somebody here who said men can be loud. Uh, may the Lord convert your problems to advancement. May the Lord convert your advances adversity to advantage for you. May the Lord convert your insult to results. 
in the name of Jesus and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God and to them who are called according to his purpose whether we like it or not hard times they are part of human life oh so you have a problem well that is evidence that you are still carrying the passport of the human race the bible says in the book of job chapter 14 verse 1 it's a man that is born of a woman is of few days and full of trouble that's what the bible says adversity entered into the world through adam and is a the lot of man adversity beloved is Satan's tool of discouragement and defeat. At the same time, that adversity is God's way or method of making warriors. That's God's way of making warriors, of making champions when Goliath appeared at that battlefield he did not know that he was coming to promote David he came to fight Israel but eventually his problem became promotion for David your problem shall become your promotion in the name of Jesus and check your Bible very well beloved adversity always precedes victory it can adversity can come in different forms wearing different uniforms sometimes even pretending to be friends but is that adversity that pushes human sometimes beyond their limits is that adversity that makes us to now recognize our total dependence on God you try the doctor the doctor has failed you try the medicine the medicine has failed you try the counselors they have failed now you now learn to depend on God the wilderness is still the road to Canaan whether we like it or not they still have to pass through that wilderness to Canaan the Gethsemane experience is still the one that precedes glory this is a true situation every work of God is opposed it's opposed every work of God it's opposed check through all the prophets of the Bible check all through the men of God in scripture they were opposed all Satan's territory that we invade is bitterly contested so you have prayed you had a breakthrough in an area they bitterly contested they are not happy that you are getting through i want to pray one prayer again that i've been praying for members for months and let your seventh amen be the loudest here every power that is saying let us kill him let us kill her and see what becomes of our story of his story and see what becomes of his dreams and vision I command the power to die in the name of Jesus in 
his infinite mercy will not allow more tempting and testing that you cannot handle so you have the capacity to disallow adversity from shaking you and for turning your life upside down you can decide to turn your troubles for into joy it was at old diabolo road those days early days of mountain of fire miracles ministry somebody waited until saturday morning of the wedding there are many wicked souls in this world he waited till that morning and said i am not going to church i'm not interested after the wedding after the engagement introduction had been done come the church church the man just sent a message don't go don't go to church I'm not, I'm not coming the lady collapsed she ran about in the house looking for something to a poison to swallow the mother who is an mfm member was worried so she quickly pushed her into a car and drove out to where we meet in those days so, so they brought her to me where i was counseling and all she was saying dr lukoya let me die let me die i say you can't die i open this scripture Romans 8.28 All things work together for good and she, she was listening to my words and after talking and talking and praying she decided that she would not die few weeks later the same man went and married the chief bridesmaid two weeks later there was an accident and the man died who was then the lady came and said now nah, i understand if i'd married this man i would have become a young widow indeed all things work together for good unto those who love god and are appointed according to his purpose anytime i see the lady around now she's married anytime i see the lady around I pull Alex and said, I will, I will say, Doctor Lukoya, let me die. I'm praying for somebody here today. Every problem that will push you to the camp of the enemy must backfire in the name of Jesus. Must backfire. Must backfire. Must backfire. Must backfire. Let your heaven roll like thunder. In the name of Jesus. So you can allow the adversity to make you better or bitter. Some are so bitter with life. So bitter. You can allow it to make you better or bitter. Joseph will have been so bitter but he understood that they were just stepping stones stepping stones to where god was taking him god looked at joseph and said they have spoiled this boy the father is always sewing special dress for him the father loves him too much the father loves him too much 
and was favoring him amongst above other children and god looked at joseph if i leave this boy with this man who is spoiling him he will not grow let us rough him up a little bit so that he can develop muscles to be able to stand and fight this is a very very serious matter i know some women here now they will not be here to be praying today and be getting their breakthroughs if they marry the good husband and when they married the man who was beating them up and down they started they came to prayer meeting they started praying so what the husband was doing has pushed them to their breakthroughs so you can disallow the adversity from making you bitter you can turn your troubles to joy in acts chapter 20 let's read these famous words from apostle paul acts chapter 20 from verse 23 let's, let's learn a bit from this senior apostle acts 20 23 save that the holy ghost witnessed in every city saying that bonds and afflictions abide me look at his reaction in verse 24 but none of these things move me neither can turn my life down to myself so that i might finish my course with joy and the ministry which have received of the lord jesus christ to testify the gospel of grace <laughs> so, so the, so the problems are there but none of this is moving me none of this is moving me so beloved there is no education like adversity god's best soldiers they are trained in the school of adversity you learn more from adversity than from your teachers and your books because that adversity has no respect for your brain power it has no respect for your family connections but you must understand the principle of god is straightforward god will deliver you from troubles if you cry unto him but he will let you get into the trouble he will now deliver you this is a very serious situation you must know so when thou passest through the fire when thou passest through the fire when thou passest when thou passest when thou passest it didn't say if thou passest so you will you will, you will pass through but it will deliver you god will always dig the well of joy with his pain of adversity and if adversity is facing you and you have some problems facing you it is a signal that your life is a threat to some powers if you are useless don't threaten anybody they will leave you alone it is adversity that sometimes bring out people's talents which in prosperous circumstances will never have come out 
That's why in the Bible every righteous man faces the plot of the wicked. It's when you surmount adversity that you become champions and heroes. Assistance. Facilities. Assistance. Facilities. They don't make men. But adversity makes men. So when you watch a person in days of adversity, you will discover what kind of person the person is. The adversity will not discriminate. It will not show any mercy. It has no respect. It comes whether you invite or you don't invite. It won't issue proud warnings to you. It can afflict a person from cradle to the grave. And no matter how fast you can run, you cannot run from adversity. There is no place you can run to that the adversity cannot reach you. If you have trouble in Nigeria, for example, the enemy is running after you in Nigeria. And you think the solution is run away to somewhere else. Most of those places people run to is an amplifier. Amplifier. The problems you just amplify. And you won't know what has gone wrong. I'm running away from witches and wizards. There are, there are better witches and wizards somewhere else. Worse ones somewhere else. There is no trouble free life, beloved. Anybody who wants to live a trouble free life is having a fraudulent dream. Trouble free life only exists in the cemetery. Even in that cemetery, you are only at peace if you are with God. So the day of adversity, the day of, the day of trouble comes upon every man. This is a serious matter. You cannot buy your way out of adversity or trouble. But then, adversity becomes hard when a strong man is attached to it. The reason many adversity become very hard battles is because a strong man is assigned to it. So keep this battle on. So sometimes when you see MFM praying against strong man, that is why. A strong man is when a strong man is attached to a problem, it becomes a serious battle. This is why I'm going to pray this giant prayer now. I decree that any strong man assigned to any problem in your life with a sevenfold amen I command them to die in the name of Jesus adversity becomes a master dribbler <laughs> when it is foundational it becomes a master dribbler the, the only language adversity understands is violence the enemy does not grant freedom it must be demanded there's no point crying day and night this is unfair life is unfair life is unfair life is unfair from which book did you read that life will be fair <laughs> life is not fair 
This is why you must demand that what belongs to you must come to you. One man's food is another man's medicine. One man's prayer is another man's uh, food. You are praying every day. I shall not die but live to declare the works of Christ. I shall not die but live to declare the works of Christ. But what is the prayer point of the man who is selling coffins? This prayer that more people should die so coffin can sell. So you are saying I shall not die. You say people should die. By his stripes I am healed. I shall not be sick. <laughs> what is the problem of the man who has built a big hospital? Patient. Let patient come inside. So this is life. So life is mostly unfair. You see someone who married as a virgin, yet having difficulty in conceiving. Then you find some of those who are supported 18 times, and she's having triplets. It's not fair. But there is no book that says life will be fair. So, one purpose of aggressive prayer is to demand what ought to be must be you look at what is happening you see what is happening you know that what is happening is not what is supposed to happen the purpose of a warfare is to demand that what ought to be must be i'm praying for somebody here any good thing the enemy has stolen from you in the womb repossess your possession in the name of jesus repossess your possession repossess your possession repossess your possession repossess your possession in the name of jesus repossess your possession in the name of jesus this is why you must understand that you can fight battles at different levels we don't choose our enemies we don't choose our battles we don't choose our struggles but we can choose our weapon of retaliation however we are about to start praying very soon however the worst thing that can happen to you the worst thing that can happen to you when you are in the midst of trouble or adversity is discouragement discouragement the Bible says David was greatly distressed in first summit party when he noticed that they've captured his wife captured his servants that they've captured the wives and children of his boys and people were unhappy with him they may even be thinking of stoning him the Bible says and David encouraged himself in the Lord it was after he had encouraged himself and said Lord shall I pursue them shall I overtake shall I recover Lord said, hey, now that you have stopped crying you have stopped crying now. your cry has not brought any result now that you have stopped crying pursue them and he recovered everything I see somebody here this morning you shall pursue your enemies you shall overtake them and without fail you shall recover everything they study you shall recover them 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 in the name of 
Jesus. A sevenfold amen. So discouragement is a terrible spiritual disease. I shared with you here some time ago. And one man had great trouble. He was so discouraged. So he went to bed very discouraged. He now had a dream. The dream is saw a big supermarket and he saw the devil who that the devil was the owner of that supermarket selling many things in the supermarket bad luck sickness disease failure but selling so many terrible things in this market so the brother was inside the supermarket in a dream he now asked the devil so all the things you are selling there which one is the most expensive the devil now took him showed him one thing looked like an axe and the axe was so old looked like third hand not even second hand looked like third hand so, devil, is this one this one sells most and as the devil what's the name he said discouragement so once this one gets in all that things will get inside when you say this courage this means lack of courage is courage boldness so this courage means lack of courage this courage people don't hear God speak the devil knows that this courage people cannot hear God properly he knows that this courage people will always take the wrong wrong decisions he knows that these courage people will always hear the wrong wrong voices he knows that these courage people will always do the wrong things they'll be thinking thinking the wrong things these days now we have people saying they are drinking sniper they are drinking poison they are killing themselves it's discouragement then it's discouragement that is affecting their souls encouragement will keep you on your feet and will make you even smile at the front of defeat discourage people have a lot to lose discouragement will snatch defeat from victory it will make a man to be boring problem from the future will make people drink the well of frustration the bible says thou will keep him in perfect peace discouragement scatters the heart so discouragement is a killer during discouragement your mind is full of worry negative thoughts will keep coming and as it is taking over your life it's just collecting you from God so it's something not to allow at all discouraged people will be praying the wrong prayers they will be saying the wrong things they will be thinking the wrong things they will do the wrong things because they are discouraged they do the wrong things they begin to see wrong things they will be seeing giants instead of God they will be seeing difficulties instead of God's power and discouragement will make people to end in the wrong place 
and the person will get into the wrong spirit wrong spirit the spirit of defeat the spirit of murmuring the spirit of complaint criticism and so on and so forth this is what discouragement does before we pray many we need to repent and ask the Lord to forgive them the discouragement you have allowed may be the reason why the problem seem harder because discouragement is a sin against God a man it makes life harder it will be leading to fear and anxiety discouragement can lead to confusion it leads to unnecessary unnecessary anger discouragement can make somebody selfish it can create doubt and unbelief in the person's mind but discouragement will hinder you from being successful it will make you to feel bad about yourself and one way or the other you will know it's a clever weapon that is hindering your progress this current creates unhealthy relationships it leads to carelessness with the tongue then it makes people to give up give up so, so i've prayed i've prayed i've done this i've given up discouragement instead of saying that you should encourage yourself in the lord discouragement can cause lack of direction of purpose discouragement sometimes weakens people on the face of temptation also because you didn't get somebody to marry you on time you decide to start sleeping around this man can push you to that level this man can lead to depression and insanity this man can make you say what you should not say and remove your confidence this man can cause you to have self-pity on yourself but it will definitely hinder you from reaching your potentials discouragement can make you a bitter person and is an expert at stealing the joy in the heart an expert at making people feel rejected having low self-esteem it kills our faith and to convert us to a discourager stop discouraging others what should you do in this situation but why you need to surrender your life to jesus number two you need to key yourself into the of God the power which says with God all things are possible no matter what happens with God all things are possible then you need to key yourself into the factor that as a child of God all things work together for good all things work together for good then you need to carry out a spiritual mapping of your life of your family you know where you are coming from if you don't know where you are coming from you are like a leaf that didn't know from which tree it fell 
you need to understand where you are coming from you need to know what you are doing i knew many years ago that i had come from a background of poverty and i didn't want to be part of that poverty no one in my family in those days I'd ever flown in an aircraft or left this country for anything. I was ready to let that story change. But I knew where I was coming from. I knew that I needed to keep my secret secret. So when I now won a federal government scholarship, a commonwealth scholarship to travel abroad, I did not tell one single soul, not one person, kept it to myself, kept praying, kept fasting until everything worked out he gave me tickets to travel so i went to yaba bus stop they were selling cheap cheap suit on the railway line at that time so, so i bought a cheap one so that day i went took my box and came out of my room i was living in a place in the, in the house face me i fight to face me i face all those kind of places there were plenty of people living there so they saw me step out of my room with a box dress in the suit they've never seen me in they say Daniel where are you going so I'm traveling abroad so, to where so United Kingdom so, are you just fearing about it today I said no I said, ah, you don't want any of us to escort you to the airport I said e exactly that is the idea I don't want anybody to follow me that's how I was able to go if I started broadcasting myself not realizing where I was coming from everything will whistle out and you'll be wondering what has happened to you next thing to do then is to pray fully by war demand but what ought to be in your life must be and those are the kind of prayers we're going to pray now country the process of land from Jordan to the sea though the giants may be on our way to India God will surely give us victory
works of righteousness, but by his grace alone. It's not my works of righteousness, but by his grace alone. It's not my works of righteousness, but by his grace alone. Oh, I am complete. Oh, yes, complete. It is divine wisdom and divine intelligence to know what ought to be and you know that what ought to be is not what is going on and you by prayer demand that what ought to be must be those are the kind of prayers obviously you can see it's not a gentleman's prayer many things have gone wrong in many places but the first thing to do is to bow down your head and ask the Lord to forgive you for situations where you have allowed discouragement worry anxiety to overshadow your soul ask him to forgive you because you will not know the havoc those things have caused you thought all the problems are happening on your head no all things work together for good those who love God so appointed according to his purpose the worry the discouragement the anxiety has not yielded any fruit Amen. Amen. Get yourself ready now. These are not gentlemen's prayers. These are prayers of the psalmist. When you face an enemy who's ready to bite you without remnant, you use your most potent prayer weapon sisters can you shout this after me with your loudest voice a sign to kill me before my glory appears can I hear the sisters shouting it again I see a sister who needs to be very angry. Brothers, let me hear you roaring like thunder. I'm sure the brothers can try harder than that. You are alive! In the name of Jesus. Bakatesepelekeyabosendera Yes. 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 In Jesus then we pray. Huh. That's great. 
Look, I want you to try more. Powers! Saying, I will not be better than this. Can you shout it with only anger? Your time is up. Dead. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Back at the city. Ribo Sopalia. Nikayabo Shanta. Jesus name we pray as we pray this next prayer if you are here and you are concerned that your children are not getting married find a way to this altar be on your knees pray the way you have never prayed before so that that yoke can be broken also if you are here your children are going about the wrong girlfriends wrong partners find the way to this altar too and pray the way you have never prayed before pray with fire and with power can you shout this loud and clear? Every midnight power walking against my destiny. Death in the name of Jesus. Jesus, then we pray. Every destiny blocker. You are a liar. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. In Jesus' name we pray. Powers making my case difficult. Then we pray. Every generational serpent of my father's heart. Death. In the name of Jesus. Something is going on here. Open your mouth and begin to decree. It.
pray. This prayer let your voice roar like thunder and fire. Every good thing that belongs to me that the enemy has stolen. Please. The angels are here of this particular prayer. Every good thing that belongs to me that the enemy has stolen. Can you shout it loud? Angels of fire! Recover them now! In the name of Jesus! Recover them, 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 recover them. There must be recovery in the name of Jesus. You cannot keep quiet, you cannot keep quiet. Recover them, recover them. Angels of fire, recover them, recover them. Thank you, Jesus. Repossess your possession. 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 Then we pray. Satanic conspiracy against my shining. Shout it loud. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Open that mouth. Open that mouth. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Silence. Please don't say anything. Don't even say amen. Until I ask you to speak. That sister. The strange evil words that the satanic prophet you visited has spoken against your destiny years ago it's been cancelled now don't say anything don't say anything yes the bank of the waters from Benin city that has captured your wedding garment. I see the angels of fire recovering the garment from the waters. The anointing for wealth that you were born with that was stolen right there where you are i see the angels of fire recovering them for you you can't hide you can't hide
in silence. Your children that have been captured by your ancestral coven. I see the angels of fire recovering them for you. Yes. The brain that have been stolen. That's a recovery. That's a recovery. Those powers sucking the milk of your virtue. And you don't know what normally happens to you. The angels of fire. They are recovery of virtue. Receive your deliverance from the powers that are declaring your destiny dead. Receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance in the name of Jesus. Roars like fire and like thunder. Say, where is the Lord God of Elijah? Right. Release your fire on the altar of my enemies. In the name of Jesus. It's happening. Release your fire. Release your fire. In Jesus' name we pray.